Daryl Lennington here from ITNewsAfrica.com and I'm in Cape Town, South Africa with Will Hahn at CTICC at Gartner Symposium 2017. Now the topic of discussion today is connected vehicles in Africa. So Will, what would you say the opportunities are when it comes to the connected vehicle in Africa? The connected vehicle market is under a lot of pressure. Uh, pushing on all the players. And if they answer that pressure, then it's an opportunity, right? Uh, regulators are pressing the original equipment manufacturers, the Ford and Isuzu and others, to put e-call and vehicle recovery systems into their cars, the hardware right now. The faster they get that implemented, the better their cars will sell as the regulations close down avenues to other cars. Uh, communications providers, which is my lookout, certainly want to be there. They want to be involved uh, with another connected device, or in some ways a really ideal connected device that could have lots of data going back and forth that they could provision and charge for. But they've got to uh, wrestle with some problems, especially around security, cybersecurity. And until that's resolved, I think uh, the, the fully connected vehicle, the completely autonomous vehicle, uh, won't appear on the market. You know, so these are all challenges which which the various players have to flip into opportunities, and that's uh, that's an uncertainty that we like to keep an eye on. So, when do you think will the connected car become mainstream when it comes to Africa? It's important to understand, like I just said, that there are connected cars in the market now. We believe there's almost 100,000 in South Africa today. Those are cars that can receive telematics data and send it back to the shop. Uh, it can receive uh, cellular connectivity and serve as a Wi-Fi hotspot for your children in the back to watch videos. Those technologies are available now. They can serve up usage-based information for insurance providers to give them really precise data on how you drive your car and adjust your premium accordingly. So we have them now. 100,000 is not mainstream, but it certainly won't be long. The connected car market is growing very fast regardless of region. Emerging market, mature market, China, Africa, everywhere that's growing like gangbusters. So you mentioned some of the challenges that some of the industry leaders will be facing. Uh, could you highlight some of the major challenges? Well, as I said, the communications providers have got to address cybersecurity. I believe they're the ones in the best position to do so because they really need the car to provide a, an added source of growth and to extend their uh, brand reputation with consumers. But as long as these incidents of hacking and ransomware and, and God forbid, you know, control of an autonomous vehicle could fall into the hands of a bad actor, uh, we won't see the autonomous car anywhere. So they've really got to address that. Someone does. And if the CSPs don't do it, then shame on them, because I think they really have the opportunity to step ahead and do it. That's one example of a really big pressure on these players that needs to be addressed. Uh, another one would be for the parts manufacturers who are really bringing together ever more complicated systems into the car all the time. And you test it, and you test it, but things slip through. We find these complex system failures, glitches, requiring recalls. It's very expensive, very embarrassing, damaging to the brand. So that's another kind of challenge that uh, another member of the ecosystem has to address. So just to finish things off, where do you see connected cars in Africa in, let's say, the next five to ten years? Well, as I said, it's growing fast in every region, so Africa will get increasing numbers of connected cars. The question becomes a kind of split between hardware and software. It will be embedded in the vehicle, but what will service providers, including communication service providers, do with that opportunity? People have to be convinced that uh, geolocation or Wi-Fi connectivity hotspot is useful to them in the car before they're willing to spend money and the business models are going to come under scrutiny. Everyone's got to get to work to encourage people to make use of the connectivity that is probably in your car right now or could be very easily added to your car right now it, in a service layer that is appealing and really answers people's uh, needs and preferences. So the answer is a little later than more developed regions, but the potential is there yeah. right now in, uh, for, the, for the market just as, just as much by proportion as others. So there we have it, everything you need to know about the connected car in Africa. Thank you very much for your time, Will. Certainly.